Hey everybody, we're back. We've been working on the uh, addition on the new shop. I know it's been a while, but uh, you know, life life happens and um, things went a little slower than what we, we had thought. But as you can see, we have the new addition on. Couldn't quite match our colors up as close as we wanted to, but it is what it is. It's just the shop, it'll be okay. So if we're gonna take you inside and show you where all the tools have been moved into the, the new side and how much more room we have to uh, do our builds on the main area of the floor. And uh, we're going to actually uh, start putting our uh, motor, getting our motor prep to uh, go together. So come on in. Okay, as you can see, we have our posts inside and that extra 10 foot back is our, our new addition. We put the uh, loft areas above, so we have area for storage. We have our iron rack in here now with our iron on it out of the uh, other building. We have our big workbench in here that uh, was also in the other building. We have the, uh, the frame back in here even. So now we have enough room where we can actually do pretty much a full build in here. Um, the cab is sitting behind Teresa here on the floor. So we have uh, quite a bit more room. Um, so we, we've been busy, we've been very busy. With uh, that being said, we're gonna come over this way to our uh, small block Chevy, which is gonna go into our rat rod. And what I'd like to do is uh, do our painting on the block before we put the um, freeze plugs and whatnot in it. We're going to be putting the, the brass freeze plugs, so I'm not going to be painting those. Um, because the engine is going to be exposed, we're going to go ahead and go with a, a gloss black, and uh, we're going to do a, a cheap, uh, a cheap priced, long lasting uh, paint job on this. So hopefully in the future it'll look just as good as it does when we're done with it um, should be able to just clean it up a little bit if it gets dust or dirt on it whatever and it should still look really good okay to begin with um, we got this um, idea from uncle tony's garage so if you uh, want to slip over and see his uh, YouTube channel. He's got lots and lots and lots of good input. Um, very, very good videos. Um, highly recommend him. Uh, I follow him a little bit myself and I get a lot of good in information from his videos. So if you um, don't quite understand what I got going on here, you can watch his video and he may explain it a little bit better than what I have. But what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to warm our block up. The uh, pores in the cast iron uh, have moisture in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get all that moisture out and open them pores up uh, and even some of the oils and stuff. We're going to try to get rid of some of that. But we'll show you how to take care of the oils and stuff in a little bit. So we're going to take our um, map gas and our, our hand torch and we're going to start warming it up. And you'll see what I'm talking about here because the colors will change. see as it's starting to warm up the moisture is coming out and the color is actually changing so don't be shy go ahead and warm it up you're not going to hurt your block they'll get a lot warmer than this when they're running so just take your time and warm it up and try to get all that moisture out as you possibly can
Okay, now what we're going to do is um, take and turn it back over to the other side. It's very, very humid today here in northern Michigan. We've had rain a good share of the night. They're calling for rain again today. So the block is still pretty warm to the touch. So but what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this over and heat our other side again and see if we got any more moisture coming out of it. And if we do, we'll do the process all over again. And uh, if not, then we can proceed on. So we'll see what happens here. see any more moisture and our block is still pretty warm so I think what we'll do next is we'll start the um, process of cleaning any of the oils and uh, whatever has gotten onto it from being at the machine shop and to do that we just use acetone and we'll get it on a lint free cloth here just kind of go over it with that because the acetone dries extremely fast and it will take the oils off and as, as you can see we have uh, dirt residue and uh, oils and whatnot still sitting there but we don't want that to uh, go in our our pores of our block so we'll wipe that down real well fuzzies on there. Okay, we got it uh, all masked off, all of our gasket areas where we don't want to get any paint. Uh, what we're using is Rust-Oleum uh, Rusty Metal Primer. You can get it pretty much anywhere, your hardware stores, your box stores, Walmart, pretty much everybody carries Rust-Oleum. Um, it's a very, very good product at a very reasonable price. Um, we happen to have a gallon in the shop here, but you can get it in much smaller cans. Um, we go through quite a bit of it, so we buy it by the bulk. If uh, you want just a little bitty can, you can get that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush it on. I'm just going to use a cheeky throwaway um, foam brush. And we're going to start right here, and we're just going to... Go around the block and um, start painting up. We're going to get right here to the edge of where our freeze plugs are going to go. Try to get it into all them pores. Right up to our tape. Just like this.
we have a, a fan going over here on the side. Um, I don't know if it's interfering with the video or not, but Teresa's going to turn it down on low. Um, also, we have our windows open. So whenever you're dealing with paint and uh, acetone, uh, whatnot, all your chemicals, do it in an area where you have a good ventilation, guys. We don't want to see any of you get hurt because of uh, poor ventilation. Uh, it, it's not worth it. Uh, we don't necessarily have to have a, a, a respirator on, but we do have good ventilation going on. So we'll go ahead and keep going. Just, you know, as a reminder, it's easy to forget about. And you don't have to get it super, super smooth because uh, as it sits and, and dries, it'll soak into the pores and uh, pretty much smooth itself out. Well, sorry about that, guys. The uh, battery went dead in the video cam before we realized it, so I went ahead and finished everything up, and then we realized the battery was dead. So apologize for stopping midway through or wherever it stopped. Um, again, rusty metal primer, able to be gotten just about anywhere. And then what we're going to do for paint is I want gloss black. I want my engine to stand out. Um, the color scheme on the uh, frame and everything is uh, red, so I figured if we went with gloss black on the engine, it would stick out pretty good. Um, we got to wait for this to uh, set up for a day, so we're going to be painting this tomorrow, the first coat. It'll probably take two coats. Um, same thing, we'll be doing it with uh, the brush, and um, we'll see you then because uh, we're going to end this one right now. That way we can give you some uh, footage on the, the painting as well. So take care everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave us some comments. Give us some thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.